day and welcome to my youtube channel my name is Okwala Damlola Roda and you're welcome to FHR with Roda if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming um this is my youtube channel where I talk about faith health and lifestyle so today I'm continuing a series I started that is my NYC camp experience and I'm going to talk about five things I wish I did better while I was in NYC camp and the reason why I'm doing this video is so that you as a prospective core members you'll be able to know or even as any whatever um face of life you are you'll be able to maybe you're opportune to go for a camping experience or something you'll be able to do better while you're at it and the reason why i'm even another reason is because my last video i dropped as regards my nyc camp experience i got a lot of responses from people and some people were were there was one response i got and the person was saying that before she went to camp she was trying to search youtube for people's experiences about nyc camp experience she could not get it and that made me feel like okay let me talk more like i wish i was able to document a whole lot of things in camp i did like i could not was it because there was restriction as as a result of the soldiers i didn't put okay i didn't put my attention to it like i didn't go to camp with that knowledge that i really wanted to document so i really did not document a whole lot of things i wish i did and you as a person because the few viewed videos and pictures i have when i look at them now i smile so i really wish i have more i wish i i have more than I, i'm going to watch and all that so if you're going to come, please document. You may not know the importance now, but later in future, you'll be able to know the importance. Another thing I wish I did better was integrate well with my platoon members. Ah, oh, platoon six, they are so amazing. I didn't really get to um, integrate with them. I didn't mingle with them a lot because those periods they were having their meetings, I was either in the camp clinic doing one thing or the other. Most times I was in the clinic. I was even living in the clinic. So what's up? I didn't get to spend time in the hostel. I, I didn't even sleep in the hostel for one night. So I wish I integrated well. I wish I had that relationship with my platoon member because after camp, like before I started working, after camp, it was really boring for me. Like there are times I really wish I can visit somebody or we can just go out, but there was nobody. Like it was really, really boring. And I felt like if I had integrated and I, I have made some, a couple of friends out of um, those people in camp, at least we could hang out or something. Then the fourth thing I want to talk about is I wish I used my sunscreen. <laughs> Forget this fine logo. I wish I used sunscreen. No, it's not as if the sun um in this side is really heavy, it's not so scorching like that. Once in a while it could be, but by the time I left the orientation ground, then eh, my you know we are white fowls now, we're wearing white top and white shorts. So the white um, top we were putting on was this, you know, those white shorts now. By the time I got back home, the parts that were exposed, they were really, like the color was different from the part that, that was closed. So not just my arm or my face, to this upper part especially, it was darker. I brought, I took my sunscreen though, but I just don't know. Inside my, maybe because sometimes I feel like I'm in the clinic. So what's up? I don't really go out. I don't do this um, manual wardries and all that. But sometimes I just sometimes when when they are even in the off or side lectures, I go out to buy food for patients to do something to do one thing or the other, and eventually, eventually, I be, I got a black head or let me say darker head, and my the other part of my arms too. They were really dark so i wished i used my sunscreen i took it i don't know i didn't use it well so it was after calm that was when i was now putting energy into skincare <laughs> it is where the last thing i wish i did was i wish i packed an adjustment for menstrual pain it was serious it was like that particular month period they said oh yeah full force all of those menstrual pains maybe they positioned them oh yeah with full force they just came i don't understand like i did not understand 
the period before that one was kind of calm i think i can't even remember the last time i used drug before that particular one but my dear i could not survive in camp for me in the clinic come and see the way they were saying me. like i was even still holding it i don't like using drug i'm not saying you should not use drug use an anesthetic you feel like you're not old it but i don't like using an anesthetic like i kind of have my own personal bias towards it so sometimes i hold it i do strong girl like i hold it inside but this particular month i couldn't i could not maybe the change in the environment the stress but was i really stressed yeah i was kind of stressed yeah maybe the stress the change in the environment the food the all of those things maybe that was what made that particular period really worse uh, like worse uh, like i had to people had to pet me they were just you know caring they actually cared for me like shout out <clears throat> shout out to my g's in camp they they were there for me but i really wish i could i i really wish they would not see that part of me but wait till i go do now i didn't know it was going to come like that because pre previous month was calm like i was able to hold it but that particular month i wish i had my own and i just that i could just quickly throw inside my mouth my dear nothing nothing like that but we thank god so if you're going to come please even if you're a medical person there eh? if you're going to camp enjoy camp it is only for 21 days it is stressful i've not lied to you i really wish i i i, I experienced my i wish i stay um in the hostel <clears throat> so that i'll be able to have that hostel life but i did not stay in the hostel excuse me but you not stay in the hostel but if you're going to camp have that mindset that you're going to enjoy camp okay enjoy it as much as you can see eh? have good friends like reasonable friends from a lot of people from nyc camp experience they they have meaningful relationship i'm not talking about romantic <clears throat> i'm not talking about romantic relationship i mean i'm not open to any romantic relationship but meaningful relationship that both of you you have things to offer each other and you'll be you'll be of um, help and benefit to each other so that's one thing i want to talk about like that's one thing you should hold at the back of your hands when you're going to camp and also if you know that your period can be for females now if you know that your period can be like this see pack your analgesic to avoid stories that touch then what else do I want to talk about? Use your sunscreen. I beg you. Don't leave camp and you'll be having color all color over your face. So those skincare routines you have been doing, don't let 121 days orientation camp now spoil it. Carry your sunscreen and use. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you actually enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up by liking, share to your friends and um, subscribe to my youtube channel if you're yet to oh yeah yeah i must not forget my makeup <laughs> my makeup i did not just do a new makeup this was what i did to church like this was makeup i wore to church and this time it's almost it's like maybe 9 15 p.m imagine it's like 7 a.m 8 a.m that i've done this makeup see now the only thing i did was i just added like some touches of powder and towel so see now i did my makeup myself <laughs> you didn't feel me my head my face is not different from my neck it's not different from my hand it's rhyme like both both is rhyme it's a rhymer and they are rhymeless <laughs> but really i'm feeling myself and anytime i have really nice makeup like this it's always like it takes a strong will for me to now use my wife to now clean it up because i'll be like wait at the end of the day at the end of the day i'm gonna wipe this thing away i wish i can just bring it out drop it somewhere and pick it up another day but yes that's just this thank you so much for staying to this time god bless you till the next time we meet be good bye